You're out on Toi Toi Beach, which is part of the old Southern Māori Trail, the sandbar between the lagoon and the sea. Now, this is Dean Whanga from um, Nice Hahu. Now, Dean, some history of this area. Kia ora, Shelley. Um, yeah, this is a very special uh, lagoon or hap hapua to us. Uh, the Waituna is um, a place where our people have come ever since we've been down here in the south for over 600 years to gather food. Now within, um, within the name Waituna you get water as Y and tuna as eel. Uh, so our people knew to come to this place to get the tuna or the eels. And then there's other names uh, in the lagoon like Wai Hao and a hao is a short, short fin tuna and that's a really sweet tasting um, tuna. So they used to come and go up one of the creeks called Waihau to get the sweet tuna. And then there's also uh, Waiparira, which is the original name of the lake, which is in the Parira is the grey duck. And they used to come here and snare, snare the ducks in this place. So a really important mahinga kai or food gathering area for us. So were there any other resources that came from the lagoon that were useful to Māori? There's a whole lot of um, fish species and, and coda, or the, the um, gabby, or they call it, or the freshwater crayfish that um, you could eat while you're in here, um, and all the other sorts of uh, fishes, uh, kana kana is the lamprey, um, freshwater mussels, a pātiki, or the flounder. Uh, there's a whole, uh, quite a number of uh, food resources that you could get while you're in here eating. Uh, well, you're, sorry, while well, you're in here uh, gathering the tuna and some of those special fish that you would take away uh, and dry to take back to your village. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of food. Um, and while you're in here there's a whole lot of other resources uh, that you could use to make your temporary shelters like the manuka. Um, and the manuka uh, tree you could use for your spears too when you were spearing the, the tuna. So a real taonga for Māori here. Yeah, a whole lot of, we call them, Naito call them taonga species and um, yeah, it's it's a really special place to us. Yeah. So you can see Naitahu has a huge history here at Waituna. How's that recognised these days? Today it's recognised by the government uh, as through a statutory acknowledgement. So the government must um, collab uh, speak to us about any projects or any um, types of work that needs to take place in this, these these particular special areas and one of these areas is the Waituna of course which we're which we're at now so um, so what that gets us involved in is uh, looking at what's happening here on the lagoon and and with the water quality and how that affects some of our values like our especially our mahinga kai which is our food gathering and the ability to gather gather food for our kids um, and and for us and going into the future too you know it's going to be really important for us to look after after the foods for the kids and the ability to come in and enjoy this place. Mm. Thanks, Dean.